Okay, let's take a look at the curves here and see what we can do to clean up the uh, the bunching up that we saw at some of the joints here. So, if I go back to my Bezier tool, you can see you know we've got the points of sort of not evenly spaced. So if I go to a more even spacing, we can start to fix that up. The way to do that is to convert this Bezier to a NURBS curve, and let me turn on the edit points. So you see that it points are in the same places as the Bezier's. And what I'm going to do is just use the Rebuild the Curve tool here. So we get a new version of the curve, and let's just move it up so we can compare the two. And if I turn on the edit points, you'll see, move it out of the way, the edit points are evenly spaced, and that's what the rebuilt curve tool is setting up for us here with the uniform uniform uh, method. So if we just crank that up, to, you know, you can you can decide where that needs to be based on your curve, but somewhere around here, I start to get a good shape out of that. So now, if I were to go back and attach a new brush to that, turn these normal on, and crank my scale back up, and let's just set that to mesh again. You can see as we zoom in here, we've got a much more uniform shape. Now you can see a little bit of wobble in there, and that's based on the uh, where I let the curve points be. So maybe I should have had a few more into my rebuild. I should be able to go in here and crank that up so I can get that more detailed if I need it and straighten that out. So the nice thing there is, is you've got the history to deal with. Um, you can also try things like if you wanted you know, a linear curve, so you, you know, based on you know, tessellating the curve this much, you're not seeing a huge difference uh, between the degree 3 and the degree 1. Uh, you could also go quadratic for degree 2. Uh, so you, you've got some options there that you can play with with the rebuild curve tool. The other thing I wanted to show you is now if we go back to the stroke shape, on the paint effects node, um, sorry, that's right here. The uh, sample density setting. If I start pulling that down, you can see that I can control the spacing on my curve uh, on the sections there. So I don't want to go too low, but I can get it to a decent point where I get a good shape. You know, and right here I set my sample density to 0.5, so I've reduced my poly count by half there. So uh, you, you've got some controls there that you can play with and uh, start adjusting the curve to get the, the shape that you want out of that pipe. So hopefully this uh, helps explain a nice easy way to make pipes and some of the, the details behind it with the, uh, you know, how the curves define what, what you're getting with the geometry.